Hi everyone, welcome to Color by Felix. Thank you for being here today. I'm going to show you the process of how I create an abstract painting. First of all, I sketch in my sketchbook and then when I find the design I like, I'm going to get to work. And this is the materials we're going to use for today. I'm going to use paper palette and we're going to use acrylic paints, titanium white and carbon black from my five set and then from my 24 set right here we're gonna use many colors from this set. For brushes we're gonna use the M2 and M3 blending brushes and then number eight and number four filbert style brushes from my four piece set right here and then a palette knife of course to mix your paint, jar of water, some paper towels, all these materials are available at colorbyfelix.com if you're interested. And we're also going to use this ceramic stucco. It's like sand texture medium. And we're going to use that to create obviously texture. And I'm going to use my palette knife. And I'm going to just take it all of this and um, put it on my palette paper. And this is a fun way to create texture. So if you haven't tried it, I'd encourage you to give it a go and see how you know fun this works. So basically, I lay it down with my palette knife like this. And of course, before I lay all my colors down, I chose the sketch, right? And then I put it down on the canvas using an acrylic pen to sketch out the, the black lines as you see right here so that when I lay the the you know the sand texture you could see through it still so you, so you won't have to do it over the top I mean th there's different ways to do it but this is the way I like to do it and so I just you could kind of see through my sketch so that when I start to lay colors down after this dries I will be able to see where you know the outlines. So I'm going to take some time laying out all this fun sand on my canvas. Once everything is covered, it takes about 24 hours to dry. And then I'm going to, this is the next day, I'm going to pick up my carbon black and then just mix some colors to add the first base coats of, um, start adding color to it. So this is burnt umber. And I chose colors and then Rossiana. I chose colors that I think would look good and titanium white. I'm gonna mix everything in. And now I'm gonna pick up my water jar and an M2 blending brush. I'm gonna dab it all the way in the water and then squeeze part of it out and pick up this color start laying out my colors on the canvas and water helps to spread the paint uh, easier so I, so I oftentimes when you see me move away the brush I lightly dab the my blending brush into the water and pick up more paint and so I you I'll be doing that often throughout the whole process so that the paint can fill in all the little cracks and things in the texture um, and so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna spend some time laying out my first layers
once I'm done covering the sections with that color, I'm going to go on to my next color. Then I'm going to use titanium white and crimson red. And I'm going to mix that and do the same thing and cover the sections I want with this color. After I finished with this color, I'm going to move on to the next color, which is Viridian and a little bit of white. And I'm going to cover that. And then all the parts, like smaller areas, I use a number eight brush for the smaller sections. And then the same thing, I'm going to do ultramarine blue and white and cover the areas where I wanted my, you know, the colors to be right. And this is lemon and a little bit of white and a touch of sap green. So it creates a very bright green color. And uh, I'm gonna fill in the areas where I want it to be. I'm gonna add scarlet red and a little bit of white. And then raw sienna, a touch of white, and a little bit of black. It's kind of brownish color. And then ultramarine blue, and a little bit of white to cover the eyes. And so I always say this, it's all about layers. So I'm adding a light kind of burnt umber and a touch of white and kind of making it lighter color to create like a like a glow almost to these shapes and so that's what I did with that one and then for this red one I'm gonna start adding shades as you saw like a darker shade of red and I, I went, went on and did the same thing with all the colors all around so that took some time I didn't record everything because you saw I had to move the canvases around and it would be hard for you guys to see me um, you know recording that part but once I got all the shades in I then go over with carbon black and my number four brush and spend some time sketching all the outlining everything with the black and so here it is this is the finished abstract painting and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and learn something from it. And this is basically how I create one of my abstract paintings. I usually do landscapes, you know, for this channel, but I wanted you guys to see the process of my um, abstract, which takes me a lot longer than landscapes. Um, this one took me about, I would say, a week to finish if I worked it, like every day. So usually landscape paintings take me about two days to make and um, I hope you guys can appreciate the, the work that goes into a piece like this. And um, so I again thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and God bless and see you guys soon again. Take care.